to be one of them. You know, it is kind of ironic that if all goes well for Canton McKinley, they'll have to come here to Maslin, home of their most bitter and hated rivals, the Tigers, to play for the state championship. What's up, C. Jones? What's going on, bro? So football season is right around the corner, right? Yeah, yeah. And I just made the Maslin preseason video last week. Yeah, I just seen that. I think it's time to drop the McKinley preseason video. What do you think? Yeah, it's only right, bro. Dogs forever. Yeah, so hear me out. Did you know that McKinley starts next week on August 19th? Yeah, it's also the 25th anniversary for the for the 1997 team, right? Yeah, the, the state and national champions. It's the 25th anniversary. I just realized, like in my archives, USA Today ranked McKinley number one in the nation on August 19th, 1997. What? Okay. So, pure coincidence. But, but I got a question. How exactly do you win a national title as a high school football team? So pretty much USA Today has their Super 25 poll and it's just kind of unanimously the way we decide our national champions for high school football. And so McKinley was ranked the preseason number one team in the nation. And pretty much all they had to do was finish out the year 10 and 0, make it through the playoffs, and win the state championship, and they were probably gonna win the national championship. So you're telling me that they earned the national championship, but how did they do it exactly? Well, so they had a beefed up schedule. They had week seven circled for the longest time, and it was against Cleveland St. Ignatius, who didn't make the top 25 that year, but they were ranked seventh in the Midwest. So McKinley, the first six weeks before they played Ignatius, they absolutely dominated that schedule. Week one, they played Akron Garfield and won 45 to nothing. Week two, they played Glen Oak, 44 to six. Then they played Jackson, 55 to 13. Week four, they played Mentor, 49 to nothing. You're telling me they beat Glenville 70 nothing? Yeah, week five, Glenville 70 to nothing. <laughs> week six, 51 to 12 over Canton Central Catholic. And then the showdown against Ignatius in front of 24,000 people. So even though McKinley was ranked number one in the U.S., Ignatius had jumped McKinley in the Ohio pools for week seven. So that meant McKinley was now number two and Ignatius was number one. So McKinley had to win this game to retain the national title. And they jump out to a 35 to 17 lead to start the fourth quarter until Ignatius started chewing into the lead. What happened? Very speedy. Second and short two at the McKinley 11. We're going to throw. Looking to his right. Fires. Caught by Lerner. Right at the one yard as he ends the touchdown. A two-point try for the Wildcats. Ragone rolling to his left. He looks back right. He's got a man. It's caught by Yannick. And the Wildcats are back in this football game. McDaniels takes the handoff. Steps up to throw. He's looking. So then after Ignatius, they beat Warren Harding 30 to 9. And then week 9, they play Aquinas and they beat them 70 to nothing. Bruh. <laughs> they was dog walking dudes. <laughs> <laughs> so then week 10, they play Maslin. Uh they they win 27 to 14. 
and Tom McDaniels famously says that the team wasn't happy with the two touchdown win over Maslin. So then they go into the playoffs, they beat Hoover 40 to 8. They won a close game against Toledo St. Francis 25 to 22. And then they have the second showdown with Ignatius. I would have definitely paid to be in this game. To watch, be on the field, it don't matter. Wait, so that, that wasn't the state title though, right? No, that wasn't the state title game. The following week was, though, so they play Moeller after they beat Ignatius, and they beat Moeller 31-16 to pretty convincingly, and they received the state and national championship that night. Did they? Actually, my, no, that might not be true. <laughs> 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 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. And if you want to watch the famous 2017 McKinley season where we opened up at Tom Benson Stadium, go ahead and click here. And if you want to watch the most recent Maslin video, then click here. And thanks for watching. We out, cheers.